More than two years after her latest project, Stronger, landed at the top of Billboard's Country Albums chart, Sarah Evans is at it again as she puts the finishing touches on the album's follow-up collection. It is so exciting. I think I'm maybe more excited about this album than um, maybe any other I've ever done. It's very, very good. And we've, you know, just been so fortunate to have come across some of the, the best songs I've heard in years. So really excited. We're hoping to have a single come out like in the next couple of months. That you were born. Along with finishing up the album, Evan says she plans to put the new songs to the test during her upcoming live shows later this month. You can catch Sarah out on the road beginning July 13th in Las Vegas. Hit up headlinecountry.net for a list of all of her scheduled dates. Well, Hunter Hayes has been getting plenty of practice taking encores lately. The same week, the multi-talented artist offered fans his new Encore Deluxe Album Edition. The singer took an encore of his own as he celebrated his second number one, Somebody's Heartbreak. It's exciting that the song did did this well. You know, I, I love this song. I always believed in this song. You never assume that it's going to do anything in particular. And when it does, you know, go to number one like this, it's a really big milestone for me. Now having celebrated two chart-topping hits and a number one album with Encore, the 21-year-old admits he's just getting started. We are just getting started, you know? There's, there's, there, trust me, I, I have a lot more music to make. Hey, pretty girl, won't you look my way? Fans have been enjoying taking a uh, Kip Moore home. His music, that is. The singer's latest single, Hey Pretty Girl, has just cracked the top 10 and now joins his previous number one, Beer Money, as a certified gold hit for achieving sales of over 500,000 downloads. This one is icing on the cake. You know, this is that thing of helps me breathe a little bit and realize that maybe I am on my way. You know, the first one is like just a shock that you got there. And now it's kind of like, okay, things are happening. So. You know, hopefully we can just keep going in the right direction. With his signature red baseball cap in tow, Kip has been going in the direction of selling out dozens of headlining shows so far this year and will continue to open for superstar Toby Keith all summer long on his Hammer Down Tour. Request Hey Pretty Girl at Radio Now. Pretty little girl and a beautiful wife. Baby's got her blue jeans on. Darius Rucker brought together his many friends to make his annual Darius and Friends Benefit Concert another sellout success. I brought more friends. It's really great that we haven't doubled up anybody yet. And, and you know, the names we got, you know, Dustin Lynch, Randy Hauser, and, and the reigning entertainer of the year, Luke Bryan. Try to spearhead an event like this. It really is a lot of work, and uh, and it just says a lot about Darius and his heart and, and his willingness to to help other people out. The show has raised over a half million dollars to support the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital since its inception four years ago. The main thing for me was going there and talking to the administrators and realizing that nobody gets turned away. It's really, really neat. A lot of miracles are happening and, and all because of, you know, the gracious people donating their time and money. Darius and Friends has grown to not only include a concert, but also a celebrity golf tournament and a charity auction, with all of the proceeds going directly to the kids. Hey!